Hi, I'm Brad Wolf with Organolon, and today we're going to talk about a lawn fungus that many people call dollar spot, but its real name is Ascochyta leaf blight. Ascochyta is a minor stress fungus that appears in lawns when the temperatures change from cool to hot weather. Ascochyta appears in the lawn about 10 days after a sudden increase in temperatures, and it changes the lawn from a vibrant green color to a lawn that is blotchy, straw colored, and sickly looking. The worst time of year for Ascochyta outbreaks is typically from June through August when the outside temperatures are the hottest. The best way to identify Ascochyta is to go to the area of the lawn where it is changing from green to brown and find a blade of grass that is in transition. You will see the middle of the blade of grass is brown, the top is green, and the bottom will be green as well. It is also common to see the blade of grass collapsed in half through the entire vertical plane. Another symptom of Ascochyta is you might find some purple discoloration in the blade of grass as well. Ascochyta is a symptom of a problem, and this minor stress fungus is telling us that the grass's roots are shallow. How do I know that short grass roots are the cause of the problem? I've seen thousands of cases of Ascochyta, and every time I see one, I take a core sample using my soil sampler. 100% of the time when I take one of these core samples, the grass roots will only be one to four inches deep. A normal and healthy grass root depth is somewhere between six and 12 inches deep. The leaf blight will develop in lawns with shallow digging roots because the grass cannot handle the transition from cool wet weather in the spring to the hot dry weather in the summer. If the entire lawn has shallow grass roots, Ascochyta will take over everywhere. If there are only a few spots of Ascochyta in the lawn, this is a clear indication of poor sprinkler coverage. So what causes the grass roots to stay so shallow? 95% of the time, the cause of short grass roots is improper lawn watering. We usually see Ascochyta in lawns that are being watered for a short time period on a daily basis. This shallow and frequent lawn watering teaches the grass's roots to stay shallow because the water is only in the top few inches of the soil. It is kind of counterintuitive, but short grass roots can also be caused by severe overwatering. The reason for this is because water replaces air in the soil, and without oxygen, the grass roots will stay shallow. If you have Ascochyta leaf blight in your lawn, the fix is pretty simple, and the good news is your lawn won't die. When we diagnose a lawn with Ascochyta, we always audit the sprinkler system and program the system to water properly according to the principles of the 12321 lawn watering technique. This lawn watering technique will train your grass roots to grow deep into the soil. And if your grass has deep digging roots, Ascochyta will never develop in your lawn. After we program the sprinkler system properly, we're going to water the lawn for three straight days to bring the lawn out of its stressed out state. And after the three consecutive days of watering, we will return to either one day, two days, or three days a week of watering based on the time of year. Lastly, if your grass roots are shallow because of compacted soils, severe clay or hard pan, we also recommend a core aeration in the fall and an application or two of our Humate soil conditioner. To learn more about Ascochyta leaf blight or the 12321 lawn watering technique, please visit Organolawn.com.